Now, I was just thinking uh, during the week when I heard about the anniversary of EastEnders, 35 years it has been on our screens. Absolutely incredible. I can't um, believe that's 35 but years. The, the thing I remember about EastEnders, it's always there, it's always impactful, it's always got, you know, why... Sh it's a, a reason to watch, isn't it? And someone who is at the centre of all that is happening at the moment, Danny Dyer's Mick Carter. But the question is, will he survive after last night's shocking scenes on the boat? Now, love is, you see, that is maybe where you find out all too late, all the bickering and everything just doesn't mean anything, no. that they really, they really, Danny Dyer, love each other. That's what I'm picking up last night in the water. Would that be true? Absolutely. Where are you, anyway, Amy We're... and Ruth? I'm, I've come down here to see you, and uh, <laughs> you could be bothered to come down here. Fuming. I wish. I wish they'd let us Freezing, out, Danny. Freezing, Amy. Is it nice yeah. and warm there in the old studio? Yeah, oh, we, nice we, and warm, are you? Yeah, we thought you couldn't be bothered to come here. No, no, don't be silly. I'm, I'm, I'm always up for popping in the studio, you know, but uh, here we are. This is, this is where we find ourselves. Did you watch it last night? Yes, yes, of course I did. And the question is, I want to know, are you going to be there come Friday night? No, it's me. I'll, I'll die. I'll just try to clear it now. <laughs> um, I was gutted. Oops, spoiler alert. They called alert. me upstairs and... Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I'll go out, I'll go out strong and I'm happy about it. No, listen, you know I can't declare it. Yeah. Um, but... It, it's a real shock. Who goes? I'm telling you. And we're going to see this, Danny, through the eyes of, what, four different characters this week? Yeah, I think we've, we've took the soap thing to a new level. Uh, uh, we, um, it's basically every ep starts sort of at the disaster and then we jump back seven, hour, seven hours earlier and then it's four different characters, their route to being on the boat and why they're there and what their particular storyline is. So we all had to sort of remember where we was, uh, sort of scene-wise, because our, our paths cross, you know. You'll see as it, as it plays out, it's very clever. I'm, I'm, we're very proud of it. Well, there's, well, so you should be. I mean, it was fantastic last night. And, and you know, what a cliffhanger. You and Linda there, uh, we're not sure if you're going to make it, and suddenly we see this love bef between you. But, you know, the night before, you'd been signing the divorce papers. Um, have you enjoyed the whole build-up to this well, storyline? She's been playing up a bit, Ruth, isn't she? Let's be straight. She's hit the you bottle know. a bit, hasn't um, she? She's hit, she's, she's hit the bottle a little bit. She, she does like the booze. Um, I think, you know, Mick and Linda's relationship, you know, their whole fa I mean, they love each other. It's a strong bond between them two. And, uh, you know, his heart's broken at the moment. But, you know... He's, he's, he's there for her. She's banging trouble on the boat. Her foot's caught. <laughs> She's off her nut again. <laughs> and so Mick's got to come to the front, hasn't he? He is, he is, he is. We're laughing at, we're laughing at but you, he, though. Or does he? <laughs> or does yeah, he? But he's does prepared. He? I mean, Mick is prepared. Am I right in saying, Danny, if the boat goes down and Linda goes down with it, he's pre would he be prepared to go down under with her? Well, he did declare that, he didn't did. he? last night on the old Duff Duff, but uh, he might change his mind and go, do you know what, uh, I love you, but I'm going to have to do the slips. Yes, you know? <laughs> not that um, much. No, of course, listen, you know, he, he, he loves his wife, he does love her. And uh, I, I think it's very clever, you know, because you, you sort of invest in these characters in their mundane lives in Walford, and then you just chuck this amazing trauma at them and put them yeah. in this incredible situation, you know? And what and, was it like? Uh, what was you know, it like? Sort of a fight for survival. Yeah. What was it like, uh, Danny, being in that situation? Because we saw you filming there. You know, by the end of it, you and Linda or Kelly up to your neck in water. You know, how was that? Where did you film it? And what was it like? How long did it take? Was it freezing? Uh, no. Well, it took six weeks to film it, and so usually for us to film four episodes, it takes about ten days. So we spread it out over Christmas. So we got the scripts, and we thought, how are we going to pull this off? You're sort of reading it, you know what I mean? And it's like, you know, it's so much to do. Um, but uh, we did it in a water tank. We thought we was all going to Pinewood. Uh, and we ended up in, uh, in South End, in Basildon. <laughs> they found a tank in Basildon. And uh, we... Uh, listen, the tank was all right. It was nice and warm. It's like bath water. And they were squirting pea juice in it to make it look like the Thames. So it was chucking up <laughs> slightly. But... Uh, but, uh, you know, like a ten-hour working day in the water, you know, you come out all wrinkled, I come out looking like Doc Cotton. <laughs> you know? 
And that's not, you know, in a good way, obviously. Of course. Uh, uh, but, um, but, we, but we knew we was doing something special. And I, you know what? And it's really inspiring, you know? And it's like, I, I, you know, it, it's, it's so clever what they've done. You know, I wish we could stay at this level, though, every ep. Yeah, yeah, we can see that. Well, you know, maybe come award season, it'll be... Uh, well regarded and, and rewarded, and it must be it must be really good for the cast because so many of you involved in such a big plot, and I'm sure you guys go through shooting various scenes, and and you don't see certain cast members for a, for a good few weeks, and now you're all together. Yeah, no, that's great. Actually, we we do all come together. Now, listen, we've got a really good bunch of actors here at the moment. We're really happy. We're you know, we love each other and we're, 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 you know, it's an ensemble piece, you know what I mean? And I think there's no one more important than anybody else and everyone deserves to get a shot and to shine on this show. And I, and I, uh, and I really think that since Kate Oakes has come in, she's really given everyone a go and I think it's, it's important that. Um, because that's not always been the case in soap. So, um, you know, we're really proud of each other and we really hope that this gets the recognition that it deserves. What's your favourite soap used to, anyway? I know oh, you're on ITV. Oh, well, obviously, uh, EastEnders. Obviously, EastEnders. Obviously, EastEnders. Obviously. EastEnders. Is, it though, is it though, no, Ruth? When, when, we're not is watch, it though? when we're not watching Corey, we're watching EastEnders, and we're not watching that much. Watch Emmerdale, Hollyoaks, watch them all. Yeah. Holly Oaks, watch them uh -huh. all. I watch them all, basically. Anything you're in, Danny? Uh, yeah. Can I ask you, oh, Danny? Yeah, is that right, Eamon? Yeah, no, I just... Long, on, long, stressful filming days. <laughs> Um, and I gather you relax yeah. by doing yoga, is that right? Yeah, I do like to have a little dabble in a bit of yoga. Now and again, Ruth, <laughs> I think it's important. I think um, I, I, you know, I need something to sort my brain out. Yeah. I've got a bit of a nutty brain. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, me and my wife, we go to do a nice bit of hot yoga. Good way of us bonding. And uh, I, I've discovered it late in life, and I think... Uh, it really does help me. And it's a real test of your soul. Yes. To try and sit through 90 minutes of hot yoga. I'm telling you, <laughs> Eamon, you want to get yourself a nice pair of trunks, yes. right? I've and got, come yoga yeah. with me, me and you. Yes. That, that, that I'd like no, to see. A couple of yoga, a couple see... of geezers, a couple of straight men getting involved <laughs> in a bit of yoga. What are you reckon? But the stretching's very important. As I realise when you get to my age... It's very important. Stretching's everything. You've got to be more dog and cat and do all Down these with things. Dog. More you down see, with look dog. at Danny. Danny goes with his wife, yeah. right? You wouldn't sit with me in a hot tub or yeah. a whatever it is, a hot, <laughs> hot stick. I might go to hot yoga with you. You would I'd just like to sit and watch you try you and do that. You would just laugh. You would laugh. <laughs> it would you be would... really good. You would laugh. Listen, Danny... Well, that'd be a bit weird, Ruth. <laughs> so you just want to sit there... Oh, you want to sit there watching him do it, do you? <laughs> wow. Love that. You know, each to their own, Danny. She's each like to that. their She's own. Like that. Danny, we know you're <laughs> yeah. in the middle of uh, sure. rehearsals there, whatever you're, you're up to. Really appreciate your well, time. Well, I'm not, because I'm, I'm dead, remember? You're I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, because people will believe that, and then we'll be told off for doing spoilers. We don't know, but we are watched right. with interest. He could be back as a ghost. He could be Randall and Hopkirk. <laughs> we can't deceased. lose him. Could we be can't anything. lose Danny Dar from East Enders. Danny, thank you so much. Old school. Old uh, school. Love to all the cast. Love you. Well, we love you back. Thank you. So, we're going to find out more about Danny and yeah. uh, tonight, uh, and it's on what time's EastEnders? Because we watch it 7.30, because I watch it all the time.